RC Maniacs. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I got a new little crawler trail tack with me today. The MN99S. I got sent to me from Habex. Super windy, so I hope the mic picks up the sound. But um, I'm at a new location and um, yeah, I'm going to give this a little run here. There are some uneven surfaces here, so it should make for some fun ground to crawl around on. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Some nice scale details to it. As you can see there, I've got the turn signals as well as reverse lighting. Unfortunately, I've already lost the lens there. That's why the light is white on the left side. But yeah. It's a pretty cool little truck. Really cheap, decent electronics in it. Not the best, but uh, get something fun for under 100 bucks if you want to try out this whole little trail thing that's been really hot in the RC world lately. So, yeah, I really like it. Really nice detail on the body. Not the uh, greatest throttle control of these electronics and transmitter, but uh, it works okay. The uh, stock turning radius is pretty horrible as well here compared to some of the other budget trucks in the market but with some modification you can get it to run pretty pretty basically so i'm going to do another video soon where i try this in my backyard in my little course i got going there just to show you guys how it uh, compares to the other trucks that I've uh, tried on that course. It seems to struggle a little bit here. Uh, yeah. Got some decent articulation to it. Pretty bouncy, super soft uh, friction shocks and a quite heavy body. That makes sense. I brought my boat with me as well, but it's a bit windy, so I'll have to try that another day. I've got a new boat, brushless. But uh, I came prepared, I brought this one as well. One of the uh, biggest drawbacks that I've noticed on this rig with the stock electronic is that there's no drag brake as you can see here, which makes some, well, some sections a bit tricky. And lacking a little bit of power there to see the uh, rear wheel got stuck and it didn't really have enough power to get through that section. Here's full throttle and uh, it gets stuck. And it, then it just reverses by itself when you let go of the throttle. So that's a pretty big drawback actually. Always please uh, remember to check out the links below. Check out all the cool trucks that Hobbit's got to offer right now. They've widened their selection quite a bit recently. So that's nice. Whoa, and we tipped over. So this is more suitable type of terrain, maybe, for this kind of truck. So since this is definitely more of a 
trail truck than a crawler, which is fine. I love trail trucks, and the detail on this body is pretty amazing. I really like that Land Rover style here. Another thing that I kind of just like about this is that the lights are throttle activated, which kind of sucks. You want them, or at least I do, you want them to be active the whole time. I see the reverse lights as well. It looks great out here in the nature. Quite fast. This little try here. See a bit lower. Isn't as smooth as the saw the other budget. Oh that's nice. But the truck's kind of it's okay. I mean, it looks good if you add some more skate things to it. <clears throat> but I really miss the uh, drag brake. Sure, what line I'm going to take? Whoops, this looks like a fun and tricky one. No drag brakes, uh, obviously, makes it a little more challenging. Get up here as well. It's a bit steep though. Yeah, it's a bit top heavy. Probably going to fit some other wheels to it. Fix some wheel weights. Give this a try. The opposite direction here. Yeah. Going a little bit fast, but I need the uh, momentum. And there I got stuck. Yeah, yeah. manage. Ooh. Nope. And we top over. We so shield a little bit. A bit tricky. I don't want to get hung up on the axle. Ooh, look at that, nice. I mean, the key to all of these little trucks is um, to find the skill terrain. You can't really always go to those super tricky Spots that's suitable for one ten, one eighth scale rigs. You have to go to these little, uh, uh, less tricky spots that might might not look like much, but when you get your truck out and you see how scale it is compared to the truck, it's a lot more fun. So yeah, just a quick little video here at this new spot that I found.
lots of roots and stuff, so that's fun. And ouch, the video at my backyard course is coming soon as well, if you're interesting, interested in that, so please hit subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon.